Right, let's have a look at uh, this headline in The Independent. More than 40% of British exports have disappeared from European shelves since Brexit. It's based on new research from Aston University. Do you accept, Andrew, uh, that Brexit has made it more difficult for businesses to export to goods and services? You are the exports minister. Yeah, look, uh, our exit from the uh, single market and the customer union has obviously changed the relationship. Made between it, British exporters and, made it more difficult. and get it. But we are determined to resolve the, 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 the situations, to make it easier for British exporters to get their goods onto shelves uh, within the European continent. As each day goes past, uh, people, uh, companies in this country are finding it easier to get their goods uh, into Europe. Britain is probably the only country in history to negotiate a deal which involved walling itself off from a trading block made up of its nearest neighbours making it harder for us to sell our stuff and buy their stuff. When you stop and think about it, it's completely bonkers. But that's exactly what the Conservative government has inflicted on the country, causing catastrophic damage to the UK economy. As for this... People, uh, companies in this country are finding it easier to get their goods uh, into Europe. Imagine the export minister's shock when he finds out the Cabinet Office has released a film reminding British exporters of all the bureaucracy they now need to go through to sell goods to the EU after Brexit. You may need to sit down. Edward runs a GB-based company, selling thousands of pounds worth of glassware to Elise's shop in France. George is the driver of the haulage company. Edward gets a GB Eori number and Elise gets a French Eori number. These are needed to complete customs processes. Edward and Elise agree the type of Inco terms they will trade on. They give their Eori numbers, invoices, purchase order and transportation details to their customs agents. Edward checks that the goods meet the rules of origin requirements. He will also need to have evidence in place to prove his products comply with the rules of origin. Edward will need to ensure that the goods are compliant with EU labelling rules. George's haulage company checks guidance on being a heavy goods vehicle operator. Sandeep. Edward's customs agent submits an export declaration for customs and safety and security exit requirements. He sends the consignment reference to the haulage company to add to their goods movement reference, GMR. In this case, they need to register to use the UK's goods vehicle movement service, GVMS, which links the customs paperwork into one record to create a goods movement reference. Pierre, the French customs agent, submits an EU customs import declaration and makes an EU safety and security entry summary declaration. This generates an EU import movement reference number. He sends the MRN to the haulage company. While picking up the glassware, George checks that he has all the relevant reference numbers. And the goods aren't even at the UK port yet. George drives to the port. The ferry operator scans the documentation. Pierre notifies French Customs that the goods have arrived by updating the import declaration. And Elise accounts for any import VAT. British exporters are now being crucified by Brexit red tape and additional costs. In fact, six years on from the UK's decision to leave the European Union, Brexit is still proving the biggest headache for British businesses, ranking even higher than Russia's war in Ukraine, Covid or rising energy costs. And remember, former Prime Minister Boris Johnson sold his oven-ready deal to the public on the basis of this. There'll be no non-tariff barriers to, to trade. It was a barefaced lie. What we actually got was this. The truth is that Boris Johnson promised the deal that you signed would, and I quote, if anything, allow our companies and our exporters to do even more business with our European friends. And the truth is that because of all sorts of new paperwork, there are now 20 page export health certificates for vets, there's a 27 page catch certificates for exporting fish, there's duties for goods of all kinds which don't meet rules of origin requirements. And if that is going to make trading with business with Europe harder and harder and harder. The OBR report the government is relying on says Brexit will result in the UK's trade intensity being 15% lower in the long run than if the UK had remained in the EU. It says latest evidence suggests Brexit has had a significant adverse impact on UK trade, reducing both overall trade volumes and the number of trading relationships between UK and EU firms. Deals that we've done with Australia and New Zealand, they're groundbreaking. Well, on that, let's listen to former Environment Secretary George Eustace addressing the House of Commons on the trade deal with Australia on November 14th. 
I was in the cabinet uh, in 2021, and I was in this cabinet subcommittee that argued over the Australian trade deal. For yes, there were uh, deep arguments and differences over how we should approach this. But since I now enjoy the freedom of the backbenches, I no longer have to put such a positive gloss on what was agreed. The first step is to recognise that the Australia trade deal is not actually a very good deal for the UK. The truth of the matter is that the UK gave away far too much for far too little in return. And then there's the trade deal with New Zealand. British farmers have reacted with shock to the terms of a new free trade deal with New Zealand. The deal will see kiwi meat imported without tariffs and farmers in the UK say they get nothing in return. A world away from rejoicing Kiwi farmers, their welly-wearing counterparts feel as though they are the sacrificial lambs of the free trade deal. We're not competing on a level playing field. It's us surrendering to you uh, New Zealanders and giving you a great deal and we're getting nothing out of it. The impact on Britain's economy is expected to be negligible. 